Hello all, welcome to Just One. In this video, we will try to understand few of the basic concepts involved in calculating remainders. To start with, we know that when we have a number n which is divided by a divisor d gives us quotient q and a remainder r. Right? That is, if I have a number say 22, this when divided by 9 gives us a quotient 2 and a remainder 4 right so 9 is nothing but I mean 22 is equal to 9 into 2 plus 4 but if I were to ask you to calculate the remainder of 32 into 64 into 96 by 11 how do we do this or what is the remainder of 28 to the power of 1024 when divided by 9 in this particular video we will have a look at few of the cases of remainders that may help us in solving problems like this ok so let's consider n1, n2, n3 be some numbers which when divided by a divisor d gives us quotients q1, q2, q3 and remainders r1, r2, r3 respectively. Then we have the remainder of a sum of n1, n2, n3 when divided by d is the remainder obtained by dividing the sum of r1, r2, r3 by d. That is uh, the remainder of 28 plus 29 plus 13 when divided by 9 is obtained by first calculating the individual remainders that is uh, calculating the remainders of 28 remainder of 28 when divided by 9 is 1 29 when divided by 9 gives me 2 30 when divided by 9 gives me 3 and the sum of these remainders by our divisor d gives us the actual remainder which is 6. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 6 divided by 9 the remainder is 6. Ok. So in this case we don't have to add the numbers. All that we do is we individually calculate the remainders and then we add the remainders and divide it by our divisor d to get our actual remainder. Similarly the remainder of a product of n1, n2, n3 when divided by d is the remainder obtained by dividing the product of r1, r2, r3 by d. That is if I have to calculate the remainder of 22 into 23 into 24 by 7, I first calculate the individual remainders that is 22 when divided by 7 gives me 1, 23 gives me 2 and 24 gives me 3. This divided by 7 gives us the remainder 6. Right? Similarly, uh, if, if I have another example say 28 to the power of 1024 when divided by 9 in order to calculate the remainder we will first write this down as 28 into 28 so on to 1024 times right so this when divided by 9 we need to calculate its remainders. So we know that 28 when divided by 9 gives us a remainder of 1 and hence this becomes 1 into 1 into 1 into so on until 1024 times divided by 9 which is nothing but 1 divided by 9 which gives us a remainder 1. So here we had a look at the remainder of a product and the remainder of a sum of n numbers. Let's now see uh, the concept of negative remainders. Ok. So uh, let's consider this 28 or 26 when divided by 9 gives us a remainder 8. I can also write this as 26 when divided by 9 
gives me a remainder minus 1. So I have written 26 as 9 into 2 plus 8 or 26 is equal to 9 into 3 minus 1. In this case minus 1 forms a negative remainder. And this particular idea of negative remainder uh, is pretty useful in calculating p of our remainders. For example, uh, in order to calculate the remainder of 32 into 64 into 96, when divided by 11, we will first have a look at the remainders of 32. 32 can be written as 11 into 2 plus 10 or 11 into 3 minus 1. Similarly, 64 can be written as 11 into 6 or 11 into 5 plus 9 or 11 into 6 minus 2 and 96 can be written as 11 into 8 plus 8 or 11 into 9 minus 3. So I will substitute these negative remainders in order to calculate the remainder of 32 into 64 into 96 by 11. Here, so 36 when divided by 11 gives me minus 1, 64 when divided by 11 gives me minus 2 and 96 when divided by 11 gives me minus 3. So this minus 1 into minus 2 into minus 3 gives minus 6 as a remainder. And now since we have a negative remainder, we will convert this to positive by adding a divisor. So we will add minus 6 plus 11 which gives us 5. So 5 forms a remainder of 32 into 64 into 96 by 11. Right? So similarly, uh, if we were to multiply or calculate the remainder of 2 to the power of 96 when divided by 9, we can write this as 2 to the power of 3 whole to the power of 32 by 9, which is nothing but 8 to the power of 32 by 9. So this 8 when divided by 9 gives us a remainder either 8 or minus 1. I will take minus 1. So minus 1 to the power of 32 by 9 gives me a remainder 1. So if I were to calculate this uh, by taking 8 as the remainder, then that solution would be very tedious. So instead of doing that, if I uh, would consider the other remainder that is minus 1, my solution was pretty easy. right? So in this video, uh, we had a look at uh, the concept of negative remainders and we also saw how to calculate a remainder of a sum of n numbers when divided by d and the remainder of a product of n numbers when divided by d. So using these ideas or uh, concepts can we calculate the remainder of 2 to the power of 63 by 99 or the remainder of 32 to the power of 32 to the power of 32 when divided by 9 or 3 to the power of 45 by 45 in the next video I'll try to address these problems and we'll have a look at few more concepts in remainders which may actually help us uh, in solving these particular problems faster.